Deuteronomy 25.16 Ki toavat Adonai Elohecha kol ose ele, kol ose avel. So we get here now a key. Now this key is not introducing a new section uh, because we see this ele down here. And so this would be a reference to these things. So it's referring back to the the weights and measures of the stones and epha that we've seen previously. So it still fits in this same context. So here the key is going to be four. So it becomes the ground clause for why to have a full uh, or complete and just stone and a full and complete Epha, why should you do that? Because an abomination of the Lord your God is, this whole thing is verbless, is anyone who does these things. Now, coal is the particle of totality, so you can get something like all or any one, any, something like that. Here, I've used any one and, and kind of trying to take it as singular because the participle is singular here. Now, I think you could say something like all who do these things, something like that, or anyone who does these things. They both kind of capture the same idea. It's not referencing a single person, but because the participle is masculine singular, I'm trying to capture that with any one who does these things or something like that, any who does these things. Uh, again, we mentioned this is a call participle. The verbal root is ayin sin he, and I think you can see that pretty clearly there. Notice the O vowel here and the sere vowel there, so that holum sere, o a o a o a, very indicative of the the participle. Then we get kol ose again, but this time the these things that's referencing back to the the unjust measures and weights is more specifically described as a perversity, an injustice, uh, dishonesty, these sorts of things with. Avel. So anyone who does call participle again, dishonesty.